Hey there, welcome. In today's episode, we're going to talk about three tips that are must-knows if you're considering a major remodel of your kitchen. Since 1988, I have had one passion only. That is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought-after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Sack and Stone team will always be cutting edge. Morning. No, I'm not auditioning for The View. I feel like it with my coffee cup. Welcome to another edition of Around the House with Scott, wherever you are. Many of you know that I remodeled my kitchen a couple years ago. You shared the journey with me in my 1950s bungalow, how I demolished walls, opened it up to a more modern, open flowing floor plan. I've been here now for a couple years. Some of the things I love that I've done and I wanted to share those with you. And there's one thing I could have done a little bit better. Let's talk about those things right now. The first thing is the countertop height. I'm six feet. My husband is six feet as well. So for us, a little bit higher countertops makes a lot of sense. Builder standard grade is 36 inches. So if you're remodeling your kitchen this spring or summer, that's what you're going to get unless you say something. And it's not that difficult to raise it up a little bit. You just put little uh, two by fours or there's little things they can do at the bottom when they're putting in the cabinets to make it work for you. And fear not, if you're just doing an upgrade with existing cabinetry, refacing or whatnot, there are some tips and tricks you can do to raise it from the top up. You just have to be careful if you were to do that, that you're going to have a little bit of a space and you might want to consider a bit of a molding or something like that. I remodeled a second home a few years ago and we put a two by four and that raised the countertops up and then our contractor put a nice little molding. So keep that in mind. Countertop height is critical for your height. And as a realtor, I can tell you, as long as you don't go past 37 and a half, you're not going to have any trouble with resale. And if you're even a little slider and you want to go a little shorter than the standard 36, probably 35 and a half is about all you want to go before it's going to get noticed. But again, most of us tend to be a little bit taller and I'm just saying my back thanks me that we raised our countertops just up that little inch and a half. And we're, you know, the kitchen's the heart of the home, obviously. Speaking of heart of the home, the sink is the pulse of the kitchen. And we put our sink in an island and we found that there was no spot to put the standard switch for the garage, or excuse me, the garage, the garbage disposal. A lot of people will put it under the cabinet and you've got to reach in and go for it. There's an ingenious little thing called an air switch. You may have seen these before, you may have not. It's a very minor upgrade expense wise and look how quiet the garbage disposal is as well. So it keeps your garbage disposal more quiet. You can't even really hear it running. I'll even turn this off crazy quiet. I love my air switch. Boom, it's on. Boom, it's off. And it's a great little addition and a nice way to treat yourself to upgrade the kitchen. And again, realtor standpoint, that's always a nice resale feature. The third thing that I want to talk about is outlet placement. If you're remodeling your kitchen and you're taking everything down to the studs, you've got carte blanche to do the outlets the way you want. I talked to my electrical contractor this morning before shooting this video. He said, labor, materials, everything, you're not looking at more than 20 to $25 per outlet, and that's maximum. Again, if you've got all your studs opened up and your walls opened up and you get to do what you want. I made some mistakes. I've got my appliance, small appliance bar right over here to the side, and I did one four, I don't know what you call it, it's got little four plug things, but I should have stretched those out and I, I'm kind of a perfectionist with my cords. I could have stretched those out so each little appliance would have had its own de designated outlet. Why not treat yourself when you're remodeling? You're spending tens of thousands of dollars, go for an extra hundred dollars, get those outlets exactly where you want them, where you want your kitchen appliances placed. So once again, let's remember when you're remodeling your kitchen, a couple great tips to think about is you can be flexible with your countertop heights. Think about splurging on an air switch for the garbage disposal. It also is free and uncluttered. And remember, placement of outlets is absolutely critical. Thanks for watching today. I hope I've added value to your life. At the Sack and Stone team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text, or email, and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.